This video covers Chapter 10 Skills Review 10-32 through 10-33. We're going to be enhancing specific selections in this skills review exercise, um, creating alpha channels, isolating objects, erasing areas in an image to enhance appearance. So go ahead and open up 10-3 in your chapter data files. And you can um, zoom in and out as you see fit for this exercise. I usually like to use the control plus and minus. Um, or, of course, you can go down to the zoom area. Or you can use your magnifying glass here, the zoom tool, to help you. Um, what we're going to do first is, let's see here, make sure my workspace is in view. Um, make sure the rulers are appear around the document and make sure they're set to pixels. So hold down your control, click, and make sure they're set to pixels. Okay. Okay, so display the channels panel if you haven't already. If you don't have it, go to window channels and make sure there's a check mark next to that. Select the rectangular marquee tool. And then you're going to go ahead and um, from 70x to 50y, so, okay, so what you do next is make sure that you have around the um, 70x, 50y to 400x to 270y. We'll create a selection. Save the selection as a channel using the default name on the channels panel. Select, save selection. You can also go down here. So we'll go to select, save selection. say OK and we've allowed it to default to alpha 1 okay and then you want to go to your um, move tool next open the channel options dialog box You want to deselect, go to channel options, and then click the blue, any blue that you want, and then say OK. And then close the channel options dialog box. Now, you'll see what that does when you make the other channels visible. Um, you can kind of see that now there's a channel if you go and hide and view your alpha one channel you now can see what we've added um, go ahead and save your work for this one um, you want to save it as tools file save as tools and this will be one of a few um, files that are due for this week's chapter skills review Now we're going to isolate an object. So let's first hide that alpha one channel. Now we're going to display the layers panel, window layers. Duplicate the tools layer. So activate the tools layer and then duplicate it. A quick way to do that is doing control J. Got tools copy here. Let's name it red tape. Okay, now we're going to use the elliptical marquee tool to surround the outer edge of the roll of red tape. Remember what we learned in our lesson? If you hold down Option click, 
you can then adjust that marquee selection to be pretty close to the edge there, as close as you can get. There we go. The outer edge of the red tape is now selected. Select the inverse of the selection. So we'll go to select inverse. Then delete the selection. So just delete it. So you can see that you have deleted it here. Of course, we don't see that down in the tools area on that layer. Use the elliptical marquee tool to select the interior hole of the roll of red tape. So you can do a quick deselect. And then let's go ahead and do a option click. And let's get a little closer. I wasn't so accurate last time. There we go. Perfect. Delete the selection. And of course, you feel like you don't do anything, but it, in fact, you have. Um, just because we have a copy of it below visible. If you do hide that, you can then see the tape. Okay. Then deselect the selection. Save your work. So do a control S. Now we're going to erase areas in an image to enhance in appearance. Hide the red tape layer. Make the tools layer active. Enlarge your view of the red tape. Okay. Using the background eraser tool, erase the roll of red tape. So the background eraser tool is right. You can adjust the tolerance setting to ensure a crisp deletion. Um, maybe the tolerance is very large, maybe it's not as much. Let's just hang out about there. That should be good. And then, of course, I might want that hardness to be up to 100%, and I do. Okay. Let's erase that roll of red tape here. We'll just get as close as we can. Now on projects is when I really expect you to do the best job as possible, but on these I do expect that these are exercises. I want you to get the concept over craftsmanship, digital craftsmanship so to speak. Okay. Okay, so we're kind of on target here. A little bit rusty, but hey, that'll do for now. Okay, so we've deleted that red tape. Make the red tape layer active, which we've done. So we've brought that back in. Adjust the color balance setting on the red tape layer. So now we want to go to the red tape layer. We want to adjust the color balance so that the adjustment affects only the red tape layer. Click the color balance button on the adjustment panel. Okay. Okay, so that is located here. Um, it looks like these two little scales. Okay, and you want to adjust the color balance to plus 75. Oops. Okay. 
go ahead and delete that. I did it on the wrong layer. Okay, the red tape layer. Now we want to adjust the color balance here. Now you want to make sure that um, when you do this that um, you do have just that in not the inverse of the tape as in the background but you want to have the actual tape selected. One way to get that quickly selected, let's say if we're deselected, is to command click right in the window actual, the thumbnail here. Okay, so we have that selected. Now we're going to apply an adjustment um, to the color balance by clicking on the color balance and we're going to click 75 minus 57 and then that third one is minus 10 so that only affects so it only affects that um, red tape layer okay now go ahead and save your work and then save this within the folder that you're going to um, add to more with more files later um, in the upcoming videos. But that's what you'll be submitting to this week's Chapter um, 10 Skills Review. I'll see you in the next video.